I see the people involved right now. They're walking in and out of the building. This news helicopter pilot in New York caught on camera the alleged culprit behind a blinding laser beam attack overnight. Hitting us right now. Don't don't look, George. Oh, yeah, you think this is a joke, huh? He led local police right to the suspects. One of the men is now charged with felony reckless endangerment. Yep, making arrests. That's perfect. Here's the view inside of the cockpit of a second news helicopter struck 20 minutes later near Newark Liberty Airport in New Jersey. Across the country Wednesday, more than 20 aircraft were hit by lasers in 10 states and Puerto Rico. If it doesn't do any sort of temporary blindness is a distraction and it tantamount, as far as I'm concerned, to attempted homicide. I know it didn't get straight in the eye. Uh, I just saw it out of the corner of my eye and then uh, a few more times it lit up, uh, hit the top of our cockpit. FAA statistics show these dangerous incidents have increased steadily in recent years. Through October of 2015, there were more than 5,000 reports of laser strikes on aircraft, up from nearly 4,000 in all of 2014. That compared to less than 400 back in 2006. Okay, first. Senator yeah. Chuck Schumer has called for the federal government to ban the sale of long ranged, high powered lasers. Pilots want tougher penalties to help keep offenders from striking again. I think this might deter some people from playing games with these potentially dangerous toys.